I'm getting definition. What is this video about? It's already all about me. It's not, it's about you. So I've been at the gym, as you can see. I came home wanting to like sort my life out and uh, tidy my room and have a real clear out. And I'm here filming, obviously, because you know how when you want to tidy up, anything will um, distract you, anything. You're like, what else can I do apart from this? The reason I'm filming this is because I found at the bottom, at the bottom, at the bottom of my wardrobe, my first ever workout trousers. And I'm gonna feature them later in the video with my mummy because I was like, oh, look what I just found. And the, it, I got quite emotional looking at them because I didn't realize how big I was when I first started. So this is what this video is gonna be about today. I get emails saying I am ready to start my journey. I feel it in my heart, I feel it in my body. I'm ready to start my weight loss journey. How, what do I do to start my weight loss journey? And this is what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. I'm not gonna give you lines and lines and lines of stuff of what to do. I'm gonna give you five tips on what to do, on how to start and how to start sorting your life out. <laughs> that was a bit harsh. <laughs> You know what I mean. If you want to start doing better stuff, enjoying your life more, enjoying your body more, then this is the video for you. So you want to start your weight loss journey and you're not sure how. The first tip I would give you is to do two things. Work out an exercise that you're happy doing. Now it can be anything. It can be um, a walk in the park. It can be going up and down the stairs at your house or if you're in flats, stairs are amazing for working your derriere and for legs, for toning, for cardio. You can go walking around the park, jogging around the park. You don't have to have a gym membership. I know that I was lucky, I am lucky enough to be a member of a gym, but um, a lot of my workouts when I first started losing weight were in the park and there are so many workout videos on YouTube. If you want to type in uh, aerobics for beginners, Zumba, own body weight exercises, which are fantastic things to do because that's great for toning, anything. So tip number one is start exercising and set a plan. So say you're going to exercise two, th three times a week, I'd recommend. So set yourself Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and stick to those days. Make sure that you don't plan anything else and you stick to it. Once you get into a routine with exercise, then everything else kind of falls into place. Um, that's how I have kind of worked out how I did it because if you try and cut out all of the crap you're eating, all of the cake, all of the soda, fizzy drinks, alcohol, chocolate, and go into this ridiculous exercise routine, Ugh. put your teeth back in line exercise regime in one go it's not gonna be something that you're gonna be able to do long term start exercising and you may think but I hate exercise I don't know look she's exercise she exercise I hated exercise when I think back to I still now have a walking phobia like if I have to walk more than say five minutes I'll be like nah because I still think that my back's gonna hurt, my legs are gonna rub together, I'm gonna be out of breath, I'm gonna be sweaty when I get to where I'm going and I'm like, no, not walking. But if you say, right, this Sunday, we're gonna do a three and a half hour body combat marathon, you in? I'm like, yeah, I'm there. What's that about? So that's one of my own personal issues. That will go into another video. If you like a video on my issues, please comment below. <laughs> that wouldn't be a video, that would be a series. Tip number two, write a food diary of your current food and show it to, well, tell you what, even if you wanna show it to me, because some people don't know where they're going wrong. They think they eat really well, they think they eat this, they think they eat that, and sometimes you just need a second opinion. So start a food diary and write down everything you eat now and then try and cut things out slowly. Drink water. 
try and drink two liters a day and that doesn't include what you drink when you work out because wait, uh, the water you're drinking when you work out is just replenishing the sweat that you secrete whilst exercising. So try and drink as much as possible. Yes, I know it's difficult because you need to go to the loo every five minutes, but it's a great way to help you lose weight. Do not drink all these squashes, orange juice, squash, uh, soda, fizzy drinks. It's all got sugar, sugar's crap. Tip three would be to not obsess about the scale. Try to weigh yourself maximum once a week and take measurements. Taking measurements is gonna be so much more beneficial to you than weighing because weight can be can fluctuate with so many different things. The time of the month, uh, the, the amount of water you've drunk, so many different things can make you put on pounds and then it will affect your mental health and it will affect your everything. So try and limit how much you weigh yourself. Go on how your clothes fit you, go on how you're feeling, go on how the food you're eating makes you feel and the positive changes that you're making in your life. Tip number five, I think I'm on five, you all know how bad I am at counting, would be be kind to yourself. Let yourself off. You are already doing an amazing thing of putting effort in and wanting to change yourself and wanting to be um, feel better, look better. And if you have an odd off day, so what? You're human. We still all have weaknesses. We have things that happen in our lives that we can't have any control over and for those of us who have food addiction have had food addiction food is how we deal with that and it's not about perfection it's about effort and the way I've lost my 140 whatever pounds is just through effort all the bits of effort I've put in all the steps I've taken with my legs right here and everything has all added up you don't put the weight on overnight and you definitely are not going to lose it overnight. And when you kind of realise that it's going to be a journey for you. And when you just start making positive changes, they all add up. And that's when change happens. All the bits of effort. Effort equals change. I get a lot of emails. So I always say, I get a lot of, I really don't actually get that many emails. I get a few emails that say, I don't think I can do it. Well, I can still remember, I say this, I've said this in my other videos, I can still remember walking down to the gym, down that, down the street, the, the, the drive. Being like, why am I here? I weigh 315 pounds. Why am I here? I'm never going to be slim. I'm never going to love I, the way I look, I'm never going to have the confidence to be the person that I want to be. <laughs> I thought, shut up. <laughs> Sorry. But I can still feel that in me. <laughs> so, if you're feeling like that now, like, oh, she's done it. I won't be able to do it. She's obviously been sport. I used to hate exercise. If you just, if you want something enough, you will stop making, ex everyone can make excuses. Oh, I've got too much on. I'm too busy at work. Oh, I, 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 I don't want people to see me at the gym. I, I'm too embarrassed. I'm this, I'm that. Fine. You obviously don't want it enough. I wanted it with every single bone and every single cell in my body I wanted it and then when you're ready you'll just smash it sorry for getting emotional but they're my tips <sighs> let's recap because I can't even remember what they are <laughs> exercise get your exercise into place once you start a routine then you're off you're absolutely gonna smash it number two start a food diary Start cutting out the bad things in your diet. I'll write some recommended foods in the low in the thing below. If you'd like me to do a video on what to kind of eat when you first start, then comment below and I will. Number three, don't obsess with the scale. Take your measurements. Scale is not a good thing to focus on. Maybe once a week, max. That's it. Number four, drink your water. 
number five, be kind. So thank you so much for watching today. Now you're going to see me and mummy. Isn't she cute? She gets it from me. <laughs> I get it all from her. Ooh. Lauren was the sweetest girl on the sports you've, you've day. You've got to look here. Laura, Lauren was the sweetest girl on the sports day because she really did not have a competitive bone in her body. But the main thing was just keep this lovely eye contact with mummy. And how old? How old? Maybe five, six, seven yeah. sort of age. And then maybe even towards the end, as she was heading towards the line, all the others had won and all the uh, competitive <laughs> mums and dads in well done. You go... And Lauren would, be, and then maybe she would do these little wings. Like, mummy, look at me, I'm a fairy. Yeah, yeah, little wings, and carry on running. But who would have believed that you would have been like this and and been so strong yeah. from doing this exercise? Because you're just, you know, a normal, average girl, and you've got yourself so fit now that you're realising that you can do things that you never thought you would do. Sorry, I'm looking in the wrong place. I'll try and look there. You're looking at yourself because you're so animated when you talk like me have you got any tips of how to start how to start a journey um just get totally fed up with how you feel how you look um squeezing into certain clothes um yeah. having to put certain clothes away in a bag for when they do fit and all those sorts oh, of yeah. really horrible things and we've all had the time when we got we're just about to go out and you go to try something on and it doesn't fit yeah because you think i'll wear that and then you're that like, that is the most oh horrible God. feeling. And then you've got someone saying, are you ready? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So as I just said in my video, I found my old workout trousers. These are my first ever gym trousers that I bought to go. And I just can't believe. The thing I love about them is they're so worn that you can see. You can see <laughs> what? <laughs> Give me the crotch. Now you can see the fact they're really bobbled, like around. Like I know that that obviously means that my legs were rubbing together, but it also means that there was so much effort put in. Mm. My old jeans, and like I could actually make that into a skirt. Would you yeah. want to get in? As you can see, I'm still not graceful. Or anything. Oh, you put, you're in the same leg, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I of thought course you I'm in the same leg. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to get in them like normal. <laughs> so, you can get in here. Turn around. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs>